So there's just going to be a couple roaming videos of Kale that happened on Friday. I'm going to drop in some music just because this is going to be long. Come on, Kale. Come on. I'll probably set this to subscriber only just because my dogs are featured in it heavily. And I know that some people that's just really going to bother. Well, you already know what's up. Go on. Nah, nah, nah. Get off my leg. Get off my... Go on, go on. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Come on, get off. Let's go to shit. Come on. Come on. Hey, you can see, even with the lull in training, Kale's coming along really well with the ladder. And there's going to be very few cuts in this video because I want to show you, like, entire roams, like, to get an idea of how long they last. And then also to show you that I'm not hiding anything from you. I'm not just showing you the best things that happen. I want you to see the entire process. I should have known that was coming. So the cut here is because I'm placing them on the light, which they're going to stay there for a little bit. And then I just wait until I hear them going through the bush or climbing down the enclosure. And then I'll come back to check on them and see what they're up to. Sometimes they'll be at the light for a little while. So I'm just not there watching them the entire time. In this case, I also had to clean up that mess he just made on the ladder. So this cut was probably like five minutes. And then later I heard him come down off the enclosure and I came over and tried to find him. Kale's on a roam somewhere. There he is. Spack is out. Ajax is out. Everyone's trying to get my attention. What are you doing, Kale? You gonna come to me? You gonna be a good boy? You gonna be a good boy right off the bat? No? Okay. Albie, get out of there. Albie, go on. So pretty much every time they come down to the floor, I always try to get them up like immediately. So I'm not surprised he refused that, but I always try. So you just got to let them look around and figure things out for themselves. Look at how straight that tail is. Kale is so much more confident now in the living room. He's going to go under the entertainment center probably. Oh no, he's already over here. Hey, you can see my other dog. She's looking at him, but it's just because like she's just surprised that he just showed up there. But you can see she's not interested in him. She doesn't care. Albie, get out of the way. Come on, go lay down. Albie, get out of here. Come this way. He's trying to go to the kitchen because he knows food is there. He wants to go climb the table. You see, look how confident he is. He's not scared. Walk around here like he owns the place. God damn it, I'm gonna have to clean that now. Yeah, this is a new way to get on the table. He usually climbs this leg right here. I've had this over here, so he's using that now. Oh, it's gonna fall on him. <laughs> Not today, dude. So throughout these videos are going to be a lot of good examples of like how I'm staying away from them. I'm not impeding what he's trying yeah, to do. Yeah. You're going to see me coming into the area slowly, leaving his area slowly throughout this. I might throw offers in here and there. I'm trying to keep him away from the uh, fridge over here. The reason they're chill like this is because they've learned that I'm not just going to scoop them up all the time. And if I do step in an offer, it's an offer and they know they can just ignore it if they want to. I think he can sense that that's outside right there. I'm watching you. You do what you want. Albie, go lay down. You're gonna mess this up. And again, my dog's only coming over here because I'm over here. Like, he's just a very loyal dog and he's old. He just always wants to be by my side. So he wants to come stand near me. He's not interested in the lizard. What are you doing, Kale? You gonna get up on the table? Here he so I've showed Ajax before climbing chairs to get up to me, and you're gonna see Kale do it here for the first time ever. Just hop into this chair, I think. Oh no, he's back on the floor. 
And again, there's been no cuts throughout this since he left his life. You wanna come to me? Always oh, climbing the chair. What are you doing? Can I come up here? No way. Yes, even I was surprised at this. What's up? You gonna come up here? Come on, Kale. Come on. Come on. You gonna come to me? No? Come on. Good boy. If you respect their independence and will over time, they will value your assistance. Well, let's go home. And this is going to be the end of the first roam. He was out for maybe seven minutes total. Go on. And the first few minutes, he was just laying around on his light. Good boy. Okay. So this is the same lunch break on Friday. He's asking to come out again. Come on. Come on. I got you. I got you. Come on. I have very little time with these guys during the work week. I only get to see them mostly on my lunch break. Come on. Here you're going to see some more ladder training progress. And Ajax is right there at the window, so it's bugging Kale a bit. Don't worry about Ajax. He's stupid. Go on. He's actually looking at Ajax here, so I'm trying to turn him towards the ladder. Come on. Good boy. Come on. So he's already getting it. Come on. Good boy. So here's the cut where I take him to the enclosure, and he was there for several minutes, and I actually missed when he came down to the floor. So I looked over and saw he wasn't on the enclosure, and I went over to find him. Now we go lay down. Come on. Get. Come on. So this is the same day, and it looks like he's checking out the same things. Now we go. Go lay down. Go. I'm just trying to get the dog out of his way. Come on, okay, you can get through. Are you trying to go home? He keeps trying to get back in here. Because he knows he used to live there. Make it here, Ajax. We'll climb the tree. Come Notice how I usually try to offer off to the side just so he knows it's a choice. I don't want him to feel like it's a demand. Here's the barricade to the laundry room that I spoke of several times previously. Again, I'm home from work, but I know that these guys will shit on me, so I always change out of my work clothes, and I'm just in my underwear and a t-shirt. Where are you going, Kale? So that's why I'm wearing black socks here. I'm not some kind of animal. What are you doing? Checking me out? doing please don't bite me i don't know why i said that neither one of these guys has ever been close to biting me oh he's rubbing his face on me he's using me as like a scratching post what are you doing so see people always talk about like putting these guys up high they need to be higher than you it's not true like once they're comfortable like this they don't care I mean, look at his tail. Like, he's not in any way concerned about anything. Facts. Where are you going? 
I know long videos like this aren't going to be for everyone, but in my opinion, this is the shit that I would have wanted to see. I want to I want to show you that there's no fuckery going on when the camera stops. They are always like this. And I really do just let them do what they want to do. He's going to pop out over here. Hopefully he comes out here and not behind the enclosure. Back to the kitchen, probably. He's gonna walk along with him, so he doesn't care that I'm here. And the more you let them just do what they want to do when they want to do it, the less they're gonna be roaming around like this because they're gonna know where everything is and nothing's gonna be a mystery to them anymore. Look at that confidence. Walking around here like a Komodo dragon. I'm sorry, my floor is nasty over here. My dogs track all kinds of crap in from outside. I've taken him outside several times in a uh, butterfly carrier. But he knows that that's outside. Where are you going, Kale? Are you going to come up to the table? how he never speeds up when I'm following him because he knows I'm not gonna grab him. Come on, Kale. Nope, going back over. Since I'm on my lunch break, I'm trying to wrap things up because I have to go back to work. But see, even in these situations, even though I know I can just reach down and probably grab him and he'll be fine, I do not force handle these guys at all. And like, he can get up. He knows to climb the tree. He's done it before. He can go behind the enclosure. He can climb up that. He's done that a bunch. So he's down on the floor because he wants to be down on the floor. Like, he doesn't care. Wanna come to me? No? Come back to me. He wants to get it inside this enclosure, I'm sure. Kale. That was such a bad offer example, but again, I'm trying to go back to work. What are you doing? Poor Ajax is used to spending most of my lunch break with me. But I've just been really focused on Kale lately. Come on. Denied. Are you okay? Yeah, I think he wants to climb back up. Yeah. But he wants to do it himself. I'll probably just go up the... I'll see if he'll let me help. Come on. I'll help you. Come on. You see, they're very... <laughs> independent and, like, strong-willed. Stubborn is the word I was looking for. You want no help, dude? I could help. Come on. I could have just opened the door there and he would have climbed back in. I didn't want to rock the enclosure while he was climbing. Yeah, he was going to climb all the way up. Look at how strong you are. Such a strong boy. He climbed back in by himself when I was getting dressed for work anyway. The right side of the enclosure is still open from when I let him out earlier. But I did try to make one last offer and he refused. I came back five minutes later and he was inside so I just shut the door.
Again, I know these longer videos aren't for everyone, but I'm sure some people will appreciate it. Anybody can get a really good interaction and then get it on tape, but I want to show you guys that these guys are like this all the time. And I want you to see what I'm doing because anyone can do this. And I had the added issue of these dogs being in this room, and you see that the animals do not care. So whatever you're trying to do with your monitor lizards is going to be a lot easier. Also keep in mind that Kale has been through less than two weeks of ladder training, and it's going to get a lot easier for me to control him as this goes forward. Every time he jumps to me from the ladder, it's imprinting come to me. So I just need a lot more reps, and the behavioral conditioning will do the rest. Anyway, that's it for this video.